Hi everyone, my name is John, and recently I had just gotten out of jail, and so whenever you really love someone, that person is supposed to stay with you, thick and thin, through sickness and health, etc. So I was with someone who I loved, adored, uh, we had our fallbacks because I was in and out, you know, but women, I have to let y'all know something. If your man is in jail, don't leave him. Don't, because that means he, he doesn't, he won't trust you again. Especially don't leave him for a guy who beats the crap out of you and abuses you and controls you all the time. You know, if your man's in jail on a PO sanction or, you know, on just a hold, don't leave that very same day. Wait till he gets out. At least give him that chance. Because it might just be a, a small mistake. People make mistakes. We are human after all. You know, you, you, you just can't... You can control your outside environment. But when a guy who you left to be with your man decides, Well, I'm jealous of this guy, so I'm going to call his PO and let them know that they're talking. And then your guy ends up in jail. So, on the the real thought would be stay with him. But instead, this girl, this woman uh, that I was with decides to go back to this guy and who told on me, who said, well, uh, him and her ain't supposed to have no contact, whatever, you know, she, she didn't keep it 100 like she's supposed to. So, naturally, it was, you know, she went back to him, and the same day I went to jail, and I was only in jail for two and a half months. Two and a half months, a PO sanction. I yeah, there could have been me getting revocated and getting thrown back in prison, and you know me having to serve only ten months in prison and then get out, and then everything be all dandy and everything. But instead, she goes back to this basic asshole. Uh, this asshole who abuses her, controls her, and everything, pretty much told her, and the people that he was living with told her, well, if you don't want to go back to John, uh, you need to make a point, and you need to prove it. So, she only went to him, God knows why, I'm automatically assuming it's because she didn't have a place to stay. Go figure, codependency is a pain in my rear end. So, and, um, so... Yeah, they pretty much convinced her to marry him. Now, here's a coincidence. And here's something that strikes me as odd. While I'm in jail, I'm telling my roommate, my best, one of my old friends, Nan, who was taking care of my apartment at the time, that I am planning on marrying this woman whenever I get out. And going to Minneapolis and having a great wedding and having all my family and friends and all like that. Which, by the way, my family, my family, was planning on paying for the whole entire damn thing. It was going to cost about $5,000. You know, and I wrote a proposal in a poem form. So, if you like poems, trust me, it's awesome. Oh! Just to show you who she is, that would be her. See how much we love each other? And this was our first date, Rose, by the way. So, you see, it was a great relationship. But really, irony, the irony of it all, is that she decides to marry this guy. Now, get this, two days later after I get out. Two days. Now, I think this was purposely done to get back at me. Either by him or by her. I'm not sure. So today, she calls me back and says she doesn't want to be with them. She's not comfortable with the marriage. It doesn't feel like a marriage. Well, duh. Of 
course it's not, uh, you don't feel like you're married to the guy. You've left them 20 some odd million odd times just to try to get away from the stupid SOB. So, in retrospect, you made your choice. So, now you have to make the choice, well, should I get an annulment or should I just uh, go ahead and stay with this guy? Well, if you don't love him, and you don't want to be with him, and you don't care about him, why keep going back to him? Or, why not just say, forget it all, and just leave? Just leave. You know, get back with me if you want, woman, but, you know, just, just, just well, you just understand, be with the man you love. Not because of his money, not because of his looks, not because, oh, well, he just put a diamond ring on my finger, or, oh, wow, he just got me pregnant. Now I have to marry this guy. No, don't do that. What you should do is think about how he treats you, if he understands your feelings, and if he cares about you as a person. You don't have to actually give him anything. You just have to give him your mutual respect, understanding, and trust. That's what I thought this relationship was about. And I'm hoping in the future that after women start seeing this on, on YouTube and all like that, and I'm hoping that this certain woman sees this too, that she realizes and women out there realize that to find love, to be there for your man is simply listening to him, asking him how his day went, you know, show him a little loving in the bedroom, and show him a little love in the stomach. Because if you, truthfully, honestly, uh, the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. It really, really is. You just gotta know how to cook. Okay? If you don't know how to cook, take some damn lessons. Take some lessons and learn. Some women out there don't know how to cook. God bless them. I hope they do. In the meantime, this is John. I'm signing out and saying, love who you want. Love who you need to be in love with. And don't, don't fall in love with the wrong person or don't go with somebody who you don't love and don't marry them especially. Have a great day signing out.